All right, everybody, welcome to uh, this Facebook Live event. Uh, we've decided to do it uh, in this format because we're going to be showing you some, uh, some different screens, some different things that you'll want to see uh, that will just give you a better idea of how this works. So uh, again, for those of you who might be unfamiliar with me, my name is Kevin Smolin, and uh, my company is 2Q Lead Generation Strategies, and what we do is we help real estate agents become top producers by teaching them a marketing and lead generation system that will double their business. Now, uh, I realize that's a large claim. Uh, a lot of times when I, I tell people that I'm gonna be able to help them um, double their business, often their response is, well, the only way I can double my business is if I'm doubling the amount of calls, if I'm doubling the amount of uh, door knocking that I'm doing, if I'm holding twice the open houses, and quite honestly, the reason why that's not the case is simply because you've just, you're using strategies to grow your business that can't scale. And so if, if you're thinking in that direction that the only way I can double my transactions is to do twice the cold calls, <laughs> which most of you struggle to do the amount that you should anyway, <laughs> uh, you know, twice the open houses, twice the, uh, um, you know, twice door knocking, a anything that you're doing to generate business, if you're thinking that in order to double, I have to do twice as much, that's where you're going to get stuck. And so today, what I really want to do is I want to show you a five-step blueprint that you can be using to double your business um, and, and make it really effective. And so what I'm going to walk you through first is, let me walk you through the system that we use first and then uh, once I've walked you through the system, I'll show you some, some numbers associated with it. But basically, uh, again, the, the five-step marketing blueprint that I'm going to show you is the way that you can be doubling the transactions that you're doing on a yearly basis. And so, I, like I said, I just want to walk you through that process so you understand it. So just some quick little things about me. Uh, here you see some pictures of myself and my family. So me and my wife, we've been married for 20 years. Uh, we have a great life together. We have two kids, as you see. Um, so my son is 15 years old. The, the picture you see in karate up here at the top right, um, that picture is about two years old when we tested for our black belt. And uh, so he is now just as tall as I am, as you see down in the bottom. Basketball is his thing. Uh, and then my daughter, she's 12. Uh, she just started playing clarinet, just started picking up basketball, and uh, she's just a lot of fun. So this is just a little bit about us. Um, you know, martial arts is a big part of our life. Sports is a big part of our life. And uh, yeah, we just really enjoy being together as a family. Now, the, besides that, the other part of the story that you need to know, and, and this is why I got involved in the business that I did, and it's why I do what I do. But 20 years ago, you know, I was 21 years old. Now you know, now you know how old I am. Uh, I went and got my real estate license, and, and I was really naive. As a 21-year-old kid, uh, I knew nothing about nothing. I had no idea how I was going to get business. I had no idea um, what I was going to be doing to get people to uh, you know, list their home or sell with me. I was really naive, and I just assumed that because I had a license, people were going to do business with me. Um, <laughs> I know it's very naive, but that's what I thought. And obviously, that's not the case. Real estate is a very competitive industry. And so my broker, um, I went to him for some help and he said, Kevin, there's three things you need to do to generate business. And I said, great, I'm all ears. He said, the first thing you need to do is you need to call for sale by owners. And he gave me a script to call them. He said, the second thing you need to do is call expired listings. And he gave me a script and said, go call them. And then the third thing is he said, you need to call your sphere of influence, your friends, your family, people that you know socially. And then here's another script for that. And so I didn't know any better, so I went to work on what he gave me. And as I called for sale by owners and expired listings, what I found was that everybody else was calling them. And I had no idea how I was going to compete. You know, I, I had no experience. Uh, I was young. I didn't really uh, know what was going on. And so I made thousands of phone calls with very little results. Uh, and it was mostly just frustrating and discouraging. Uh, so I thought for sure, my sphere of influence, that's going to be the way that uh, I'm going to generate business. Uh, I would call them, and, and as I would call them, even though I had relationships with these people, by and large, their response to me was, well, Kevin, didn't you just get into real estate? You know, call us back when you know what you're doing. And so basically what happened was I was set up in this environment where I didn't know how to generate business. There's a statistic in the industry that says that 87% of agents will fail and be out of the business in the first couple of years. And that was my story. I lasted a little less than two years and I got out of the business mostly because I didn't know how to generate business. 
Um, and, and so for the next 10, 15 years, it sent me on a quest. And what I did was I started studying everything I could about marketing, about lead generation. And I learned how to solve that problem because I wanted to learn how to solve it for myself. And once I learned how to solve it and started teaching it to others, I was seeing the results that I was getting and that they were getting. And that's honestly how my company came to be was just going through that process and seeing people grow their business through these strategies. So basically, here's a quick profile of what, you know, as I talk with agents and, and through my own experience, here's what a lot of prospecting looks like in real estate. So a lot of times agents are cold calling. And for me, a cold call means they don't know who you are, they don't know why you're calling. And so expired listings for sale by owners, they fall into that category. And so by and large, most agents, you're competing with everybody else that's calling them. It's a very competitive, crowded space. And it's very hard to win their trust and, and do a lot of business here. And so if that's the way that you're prospecting, chances are it's gonna take you a lot to grow your business. A lot of agents will go to door knocking, right? Um, I was talking with an agent earlier this week and she says, yeah, I was knocking on doors and I almost got a listing. <laughs> Well, that's exciting. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, most people that I talk to when they're knocking on doors, they see very little results from the time and energy that they're putting into it. Uh, again, sphere of influence. People will start marketing to their friends, their family. And uh, in a lot of cases, it actually has a negative impact. And I'm going to show you why that's the case as we talk, go through the presentation today. Uh, a lot of agents will hold open houses. Uh, most agents that I know, when I talk to them about an open house, they say that a good open house is two or three people coming by. And it's usually just the, uh, the neighbors who are curious about the home. So uh, again, it's just not generating a lot of real tangible business for them. So that's the point is that most agents, they get very little results. And as a result, 87% will fail and be out of the business. Um, another little interesting thing is that based on the National Association of Realtors, uh, the average agent makes $45,200. So if you do survive, that's the average, that's what you have to look forward to. And so I'm, I always love working with agents who don't wanna be average, who even if they're above that, they wanna push the envelope. And uh, I hope as we go through today's uh, presentation, you'll see how that's gonna help. So again, the point is these methods didn't work for me. And so I teach other ways of generating leads that are overlooked, mostly because it's not quote unquote traditional, it's not what everybody's taught. So the first place that I go and teach people to generate business is with a targeted market. So many people fail in their marketing simply because they're too vague in talking about what they do. So I call it a market domination statement simply because my definition of marketing is finding a limited market and seeking to dominate it totally. Right? I'm not interested in being everything for everybody because number one, that's too hard and number two, you really can't do that anyway. So I don't wanna be everything for everybody. I wanna be something really good for the people that need it. And so in your marketing, you'll notice that the more you do that, it's easier to be a big fish in a small pool than it is trying to be the big fish in the big pool. Right? One of the fastest ways that you can gain traction and start generating leads and more transactions is being more clear in your marketing. And I call that a market domination statement. The market domination statement really is the answer to the question of what do you do for work? See, most agents, the way that they answer that question is they'll say, well, I'm a realtor, or I'm a real estate agent, or the advanced version, <laughs> which is I help people buy and sell houses, right? And so again, when people hear that kind of marketing and that kind of description, they still really have no idea what it is that you're doing. And so your market domination statement to be effective really must contain these three things. Number one, it has to contain who you help or who you work with. Number two, what their big problem is. And then finally, number three, your unique solution. And the more tangible that solution is, the better, because they're gonna have a, a more clear understanding of what it is that you do and how you help people. And see, when you have a great answer to this question, it helps in the lead generation process. And I'm gonna show you some examples of why it's such a big difference. So here's some examples. Let's say that we've got an agent who wants to focus on first time home buyers. That's a very common niche in the real estate industry. So instead of just saying I'm a real estate agent, what if this was your message? What if you said I help frustrated first time home buyers who are struggling to come up with the money for the down payment? I show them five little known ways to come up with the down payment so that they can get into a home and stop wasting money on rent. See, with that kind of an introduction, if that's the way that you're, you're introducing yourself and your business, normally one of two things will happen. 
either number one, the person that you're speaking with, if they are part of this target market, the first time home buyers, this is probably a challenge that, they, that they're currently having. And so if that's the case, they're probably going to say something like, well, well how do you do that? And, and that's where a lead or a referral is generated, right? The second thing that happens is if they're not part of that target market, because you have been so specific about who you're working with and what you're doing, their mind starts filtering down to people that meet that category. They're going to start thinking of people that are wanting to buy their first home, but they don't have the down payment. And so it's, it's not uncommon where they'll say, well, you need to talk to my brother, John, because that's something he's having a hard time with, right? And again, that's where a lead or a referral is created. And so the more specific you can be, the faster you're going to gain traction. See, if you just tell people that you're a real estate agent, most people's response to that is, oh, okay, cool. And oh, okay, cool, <laughs> that's code for I know 10 other people that do the same thing, and I'm related to two of them, right? Because mentally, they think you're just the same as everybody else. So having a market domination statement like this, where you're talking about who you help, and what their problem is, and how you're solving it, it's the fastest way to break through that and instantly separate yourself from the competition. So let me show you a couple of other examples. Let's say you want to go after investors, right? What if your statement was this? I help busy real estate investors locate investment properties that add millions to their net worth while limiting their risk, right? So again, can you see how that's going to be appealing to somebody who's a potential investor or who is investing, right? That's another way of appealing to these people. Another way, another example, let's say you just want to focus on buyers, right? Working with buyers. What if you just said, I help families on a limited budget buy a larger home than they thought they could afford? Right? Again, a very powerful statement. And so these kind of comments, these things are going to help people realize that you can help them and the way that you conduct business is different than everybody else, even though you're all licensed and, and technically, yes, you all do the same thing. But the truth is you really don't. Your objective in your marketing is to being able to communicate what's different, being able to communicate a clear outcome that people can achieve in working with you. And that's what this market domination statement helps you with. So the more clear you are in your marketing, that's our objective. The easier it is for people to understand what you do. Now, once you've got that core message figured out, the truth is, is it really becomes the foundation of all your marketing. So again, just going off of that theme of the first time home buyer, what if over here on the left, what if they came to this website that says attention frustrated renters? Do you want to buy a home but can't afford the down payment? Free new report details five ways to overcome the down payment so you can buy a home today and stop wasting money on rent. See, this kind of, uh, you know, if they go to a page like this, they're far more interested in the message because you're speaking specifically to their needs, to the problems that they're having and showing that you can solve it, right? That becomes a powerful message. We do something similar over here on the right with business cards. A lot of times people with their business cards, they're not very focused in what they're doing and usually their card is just name and contact information. Well, I teach my customers how to be more strategic with their card so that their card is also generating leads. Same with their website. So that is the first and um, most significant way that people can start generating leads right away, something you can implement today, just by having a better introduction and marketing message to your business other than I help people buy and sell homes. Now, the second source of where you can be generating more business, and it's the blueprint for being able to double is being able to market on social media. Now, I'm going to talk specifically about Facebook because that's where I focus a lot of my training and helping people. So with Facebook specifically, I know a lot of agents that they're doing social media, right? They're posting all kinds of helpful articles or, you know, motivational quotes or funny videos and, you know, um, new listings that they've got and they're posting all this stuff. And they're dedicating a lot of time and energy and effort to it. But what normally happens is when I ask them how it's going or how many leads they're generating, they usually say it's one or two or three a year. And, and often it's not even turning into transactions. So they get frustrated. They wonder why they're spending all this time doing it. And they often quit. When the truth is social media isn't the problem. It's a great tool. I've got people killing it on social media. It's how I'm training a lot of my agents to generate business. And, and I'll show you some of that today. Um, but the, the problem isn't social media. The problem is the strategy that you're using. And so I'm going to show you some different strategies and different things today. So Facebook, in my opinion, is one of the greatest marketing tools that has ever existed. 
So the reason why I think it's such a great marketing tool is because on there, people are putting the things that they're interested in. They're listing their, um, you know, the shows that they like and what jobs they've worked and what they just ate for dinner. <laughs> they're posting all this stuff. And you can use that to really filter down and target the people that you want to target. So right within the, um, you know, one of the things that we do in our, in our business is we have a, a program called the Top Agent Marketing System. And I'm going, to show some, I'm going to show that to you today and introduce that. But inside this course, there's a series of nine different Facebook lead generation campaigns that we teach. It's so detailed that we have literally copy and pasted every section of how you create the Facebook post, how you create the ad, what language you should be using, um, all the ad settings. I mean, we've really made it as simple as possible so that you can literally copy and paste and have that set up usually within an hour or an hour and a half. You know, uh, it takes you about an hour to set it up once you know what you're doing. The first time it'll take you a little bit longer, but once you've got it set up, it's something you can just keep duplicating. But we teach ways to generate buyer leads seller leads, uh, people that are divorced who need to sell their home, uh, empty nesters, you know, going after a targeted niche like first time home buyers, or even how to target uh, for sale by owners and expired listings using Facebook, which is a really cool strategy so that you don't have to cold call all the time. So there's nine, nine different campaigns that we teach in there. And what you'll see is over here to the right, when people submit that information, there's just these instant notifications that pop up. And so I have agents that are generating between five to 10 leads every single day. And, and I'm gonna show you what the math of that is over a period of time and it's gonna blow your mind. Um, you know, in fact, uh, just last week I had an agent that was doing this and for about $67 of ad spend that she spent, she got two transactions out of it. And those two transactions based on uh, the sales price and her commission, uh, that was worth about 14,000 in commission to her. And so again, not bad return <laughs> for a $67 investment, right? So again, it's all about getting results. So the strategies that I teach, it's, it's using ads. It's about using the machine for what it's designed to do. So rather than teaching you to post a lot of quotes and information and articles, I'm gonna teach you how to run ads that are gonna get directly to your target market. A typical campaign will normally generate about 20 leads a week. And depending on the kind of campaign, because some campaigns are a little more expensive than others, but it usually averages out to a cost of about $2.38 a lead. And when you compare that with what lead generation services cost you like Zillow or Realtor.com, this is just a fraction <laughs> of what they would charge you. Plus, you're also going to get a lot more leads. And the other big difference is that these are exclusive. They're not being sold to other people. They're your lead. And so these are extremely valuable in that sense. So for most agents, if they were generating 20 plus leads a week, that is an absolute game changer. So go ahead and give me a, a comment or a yes about, you know, can you see what 20 leads a week, what difference that would make for your business, right? It's a game changer for most people. The third lead source that I teach people is about their sphere of influence. So again, sphere of influence are the people that you know socially, um, but they, they've never done business with you. So this would include like your friends, your family, um, you know, uh, parents of, uh, of your kid, you know, your kid maybe plays a sport and it's the parents of other people on the team. Um, basically people you know socially, but they haven't done business with you. So in my opinion, the, the industry has done you a huge disservice in teaching you how to market to these people. Uh, it often ruins most important relationships. And I'm, I'm going to explain why in just one second. So our strategy and our focus with Sphere of Influence is we want to help you generate business from these people, but we do it so softly that they never realize a solicitation occurred, right? This is where having the right strategy makes all the difference. So relationships often get ruined because of this, right? There's a no solicitation barrier that exists with friends and family. So you know you experience this if you've um, you know done network marketing or any of those kinds of things. If you're constantly promoting this to friends and family, saying, "Hey, come check this out. Hey, come check this out. Come check this out," after a period of time, they hate that, right? They they detest it, and so all of a sudden, now that great relationship that you had, they're standoffish, right? When they see you call, they don't want to take your phone call anymore, or when you see them socially, they they 
the you know the conversation's real brief or it's really shallow and they're not really engaged with you or they just completely avoid you i've seen that happen right and so the hu- you know the biggest problem is you're ruining these relationships at the expense of doing business because the way the industry has taught you to market to these people is to go up to them or call them and say hey who do you know that's thinking about buying or selling and when you're putting them on the spot like that they they hate it right and that's why this is a huge problem. The other problem that I see a lot of people have, and this was certainly the case with me because I was a brand new agent, is that if you're new, they may not think of you yet as the real estate professional. Okay, an emphasis on the word yet, that happens over a period of time. But like I said, when I first started, I would call my friends and family and they would say, well, aren't you new, right? So they didn't yet think of me as that real estate professional. So part of this process is you have to create a new mental image with them to where they are thinking of you as that real estate professional, right? Otherwise, it's just not going to work. So we're gonna show you how to market to this group of people where they not only appreciate the fact that you're marketing to them, but they're still gonna be happy to see you. You're not gonna damage the relationships because of the way that we're gonna teach you to do it. So again, we just wanna make sure that they keep taking your calls and they're not avoiding you because that's what's really going to hurt. The fourth source of leads where we teach people is about converting prospects into clients. Now, that may not sound like a lead source, but here's the thought process. And here's what I see a lot of agents do, is if they do have a lead generation machine set up, which most people don't, but if they have taken the time and effort to figure that out, or even if they're buying leads, which is usually the case, right? If they're buying leads, if that lead doesn't convert right away, most agents that I know, when I ask them what their follow-up system is, they <laughs> their eyes glaze over and they look at me like, Kevin, I have no idea what you're talking about. So the key to this is we wanna have a system set up <clears throat> where you're tracking people through a pipeline, where you're constantly staying in front of them because the simple truth is, is that sales is a timing game. You never know when the right time is and so the only way to fix that, quite honestly, is to be there all the time. And so the way that we're gonna do that is by having a pipeline where we're getting people through this process so that they stay uh, engaged with you, you're staying in front of them, and when the time is right, because you've been there, because you've been helpful, they're going to come to you. So like I said, most agents, they don't have a follow-up system for their prospects. And so if that lead doesn't convert right away, the lead is often lost and forgotten about because they're not gonna do anything to to follow up, build their thought process is, well, I'll just convert the next lead, it doesn't really matter. But like I said, sales is a timing game and you have to be there when they are ready because some of them are gonna be ready to do business now, but most of them won't. A lot of them either won't do business at all or it'll just be sometime down the road. It doesn't mean it's a bad lead, it just means it takes a little bit more work and a little bit more follow up. So we teach a very specific follow up system and we provide you with sample scripts, emails, text messages, everything that you need to keep prospects moving through this sales pipeline and staying in contact with them. But here's the key, without this really taking a lot of your time. Now, the fifth lead source is client marketing. Now, client marketing is one of the the most forgotten areas of real estate. Um, Most agents that I talk to, three out of four are doing nothing. And in fact, I'll, uh, I'll share some, some crazy statistics with you. But it's one of the lowest, it's one of the sources of the lowest hanging fruit that agents often forget about. So um, just to give you a, a story, um, and again, a lot of this is just research from the National Association of Realtors. So they asked the question to people that had listed the, uh, you know, who had bought or sold through an agent if they had a good experience. Okay, and 83% of people said yes, they had a good experience and that they would be willing to refer that agent to someone else, okay? And you would expect that by and large, you know, people are, you know, most agents are professional, they're good at what they do, and so by and large, people are gonna have a good experience, 83%. Now, the second question is the one that I find really interesting, which was they asked people if this is your second or, you know, per, you know second purchase or further, you know, third, fourth, fifth, et cetera, did you use the same agent for this transaction that you did on the previous transaction? Okay, and what do you think that number was? Okay, that number was 22%. So think about that for a second. 83% said that they had a good experience and that they would use, uh, that they would refer the agent. Only 22% of people actually use the same agent. Okay, 
And in my opinion, the reason why there's such a disconnect between those two numbers, why there's such a huge gap, is the fact that most agents that I know are your stereotypical salesperson. And, and again, that's not a bad thing. That's, make, that's part of what makes them good about what they do. But the problem with that is the stereotypical salesperson, once they've made a sale, the next thing on their mind is the next sale. <laughs> and so they forget about the person that they just did business with, not realizing or not thinking about. There's probably going to be a point in time where that person is going to want to buy something down the road. Or because they had a great experience, they're going to be willing to refer if you stay in contact and earn that referral. So that's why I said three out of four agents, every, every agent that I talk to, I ask them that question, what are you doing with your past clients? Three out of four say nothing. And the one that is doing something is usually doing something that's ineffective, in my opinion, like a newsletter. Um, newsletters are horrible at converting. Again, it's better than doing nothing, but not by much. Or they'll send recipe cards or something like that. There's a very different strategy and approach that I take with people because, again, it's, it's not – client marketing that's the problem it's the approach or the strategy that you're using that's the problem so there's a very specific formula that we teach that helps agents double their business every 12 months yes you heard correctly and again I'm gonna show you the math on this because it'll blow your mind but although I can't teach you the entire formula today because it would take too long let me do help you with one thing and that is helping you get more referrals for your business okay so the way that I can the way that I can help you get more referrals for your business is basically to, um, to teach you this process. So again, the industry has taught you that when you're talking to past clients, that what you should say is you should be saying, let me, um, you know, who do you know that's thinking about buying or selling? And you're putting people on, on the pressure like that. Who do you know that's thinking about buying or selling? So here's what happens. If you call a past client, and you're talking, hey, how's it going? And you're just chatting, and then it's like, hey, by the way, you know, who do you know that's thinking about buying or selling, right? There's two problems with this. Problem number one is even if, even if they do give you a name, my question is, did you get a name or did you get a referral? Because those are two very different things, okay? Did you get a name or did you get a referral? In almost all cases, what you got was a name, meaning, if you were to hang up on that phone call and immediately call that other person, they don't know you, they don't know why you're calling, and they don't know what you do. Okay, that is a cold call, that is not a referral, <laughs> right? There's no name recognition, they're not expecting your phone call, they have no idea who you are. That's a cold call. So that's problem number one, is you didn't even get a referral, you got a name. Problem number two is if you're constantly putting your clients on the spot like that, people hate that, right? People hate that pressure, right? They don't like being asked that question. Who do you know? Who do you know? Refer me to somebody, right? They hate that pressure. And so what happens is the next time you go to call them, they see your name pop up on caller ID and they're not going to take your call, right? And so not only have you not gotten a referral, which is what you wanted, but you've also done it at the expense of damaging a relationship. And you'll find that if you take great care of your clients, that they will take great care of you in the form of doing more business and referring others. Your client list is your greatest golden asset. Let me say that again. Your client list is your greatest golden asset. And we teach you how to capitalize on that and, and make it very, very profitable. But most agents just screw this process up. And so it hurts them, right? And so the fastest way that I can teach you and help you to get more referrals is to teach you to stop asking for them. As weird as that sounds, right? The way you're gonna get more referrals is to stop asking because people hate that pressure. The way that you are going to get more referrals is by doing what I call promoting a referral. Okay, promoting a referral sounds like this. Instead of putting them on the spot saying, who do you know that's thinking about buying or selling? Right, promoting a referral goes like this. Uh, so if you and I were talking, you know, we're going to talk a little bit just to have a good conversation. At the end of it, I'm going to say, hey, by the way, you probably can't think of anybody right now. But if you come across somebody that would benefit from my services, would you please let me know? I'd love to have more clients just like you. Okay. So first of all, I haven't put them on the spot. I didn't ask them for a name directly, right? I've just said, if you bump into somebody that would benefit, please let me know, right? 
I've complimented them by saying, hey, I'd love to have more clients just like you. And then lastly, it's just a little bit of psychology here, right? When I say you probably can't think of anybody right now, what I'm really saying is you probably can think of anybody. Just like when I say don't think of a shark, the first thing you think of is a shark. Or if you go to a kid and you say don't touch that, the first thing they do is touch it. Because what they heard was touch it. Or what you heard was think of a shark, right? So when I say you probably can't think of anybody, what they're hearing is you probably can think of somebody. And, and it's funny, you'll often have people say, well, you know, it's funny that you say that because I actually was thinking about somebody, right? And so one of the fastest ways that you can generate more referrals is to create an environment where you let people know that you take them without asking for them. And that's what promoting a referral is all about. So that's one short little quick technique that we teach in this system to help you increase the number of referrals that you're getting, right? So with that in mind, let me take a moment and show you the results of this five-step process. I, showed, I told you I was going to give you a blueprint that was going to help you get to the point where you're doubling the amount of transactions that you do every year. So let me show you that process and show you how that works. So easiest way for me to teach this is using this little spreadsheet. So I'm going to use an example. Um, I'm going to use an example uh, for somebody near my market. So I'm in, I'm in uh, Utah, just a little bit north of Salt Lake City. And so a typical sales price in our area is about 250000 right? And so you figure if the average agent is earning 3% commission, whether they're buying or selling, 3% of 250 gives you an average gross commission of 7500 Okay. Now, that 7500 um, basically, what that is, is um, the 7500 is that gross commission for that transaction. And just to give you an example, um, let's say we've got somebody, and, and let's say they did really well. Let's say they earned 150000 last year. Okay. So if that's the case, then when I'm saying I'm going to help them double their transactions, I'm saying that I can help them get to 300000 in 12 months. And again, when I make that claim, a lot of people are like, Kevin, you're, you're nuts. There's no way that's going to happen, right? <laughs> so let me show you how this process works. So with each of these different modules, each of these modules are the five sections that we just talked about in the blueprint. They also happen to correspond to the five modules that you'll find within the top agent marketing system. The top agent marketing system is your guide to doubling your transactions in the next 12 months. So within each of these modules, there's very specific targets and numbers that we tell people about, right? And so with that, let's just go ahead and get into it. So with the target market, right, with the target market, I'm telling people that with that strategy, they can be generating, and this is going to blow your mind, <laughs> one lead a week. Yep, that's it. One lead a week. So the way that I'm figuring that is we, we tell you how to focus and target 20 people. And if you're focused on 20 people, we're taking a conversion rate of 5%, meaning one out of 20 is going to express any kind of interest in your, um, your targeted market. So your target market might be the first time home buyers that I showed you earlier, or the investors, or whatever that target is. But that target market, let's say only one out of 20 ends up being interested. Okay, so over the course of a year, if you're generating one lead a week, that's going to be 52 leads, right? And if you're converting at 5%, that means of that, right, you're going to be generating three transactions. Three transactions just from having a targeted market. And chances are you'll probably do better than that. But that's uh, where I want to start with just uh, to keep this simple. And, and again, you'll notice my numbers are very, very conservative. Now, the second module, Facebook leads, what we teach people is we're teaching people that they, um, with these campaigns, they can be generating 20 leads per week, right? And so much of that is going to be on autopilot that once you set it up, you don't have to do this. And that's why you can do this faster. That's why you can scale is because you're not having to cold call. These are people saying, hey, I'm interested in what you do. Please contact me. Right? So if you're generating 20 leads a week, then that's going to be 80 leads in a month or in a year, 
because we're talking about 12 months here, that's going to be 960 leads. Okay. So again, that's 20 leads a week, which is 80 leads a month times 12, which is 960 leads in a year if you're doing this all year long, which you should be. Right now, I'm taking an extremely conservative approach of 1% conversion. Right, uh, I've got an agent that uh, she is awesome at her follow up. She's got that figured out, and she converts at 8%. 8% of her leads convert into a transaction. Now, I'm keeping it conservative because let's just assume you've never done any lead generation and, and you're still figuring out how to follow up with them. There's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. So, even so, at 1%, that means that that 960 leads would turn into 10 transactions. And you'll notice down here at the bottom, right? You'll see we're already at 166,000 in commissions <laughs> and we haven't even talked about these other sources, okay? Now, <clears throat> the third thing that we talked about is, er, and it's actually, you'll see here, it's module number four, but we talked about having a pipeline that's converting your leads or prospects into clients. Okay, once you've got that, because again, it's a timing game. Some of those people are going to be ready to do business now. Some of them are going to be ready to do business later. And so what we're going to do is we've got so far, uh, if you do the math, that's 1,012 transactions, or excuse me, 1,012 leads that we've generated between these two sources during the whole year. Now, that turned into 13 transactions over here. And so it's just simply subtracting that saying, we now have a thousand prospects that haven't turned into a transaction. So doesn't it just make sense that if you keep staying in contact, you're sending them information via email, and again, a lot of this being automated, and you're only calling them when they're starting to get close, right? But if you're following up like that, doesn't it make sense that out of a thousand people that you can convert one extra percent just by staying in touch with them? <laughs> of course, you can probably do much better. Again, I want to be conservative. But if that's the case, that 1% would result in another 10 transactions over the course of a year. Pretty powerful, right? Now, the third area where we talk about, in module number three within the top agent marketing system, we talk about how to market to a sphere of influence, and we're talking about other strategies that you can use um, that are basically an upgrade. I'm going to teach you how to do more open houses to where instead of getting one or two people, <laughs> you're going to be getting 20, 30, 40, so that you're getting a, a much better return on the time and effort that you're spending for the open house. Right? There's strategies like that where I'm going to show you how to upgrade things that you're probably already doing just to get a better response. But I'm only going to, for this example, I'm only going to stick with sphere of influence, people that you know socially. So let's say that you have 200 people that you know socially, regardless of how you know them, whether it's church or family or, you know, previous work or whatever that relationship is. But these, con these um, types of contacts are going to convert higher because there is some kind of an existing relationship going on there. Right? So I've got a conversion rate, again, very conservative, that 3% of those people will convert into a transaction this year. Well, again, that's going to be another six transactions. And you can see we are now up to $211,000 in gross commissions that we've generated from this system so far. Now, the last piece of the puzzle is client marketing. Okay, Client marketing is where we continue to market to your past clients, like we said. Um, the statistic in the industry is that people move every seven years. Okay, Obviously, for some people, it's a little more. For some people, it's a little less. But the average in the industry is seven years. So what that means is one-seventh of your past client database is moving this year. Okay, One-seventh of your past client database is moving this year. So if you take... 100% uh, and divide by 7, that's where I'm getting this 14% from, meaning one-seventh of your database is going to buy a house this year. And let's say you've been in the business for a little while. You've got a past client database. Uh, let's say you've got 100, uh, 100 people in your past client database. Well, that means 14% of them are going to do a transaction this year, which is obviously another 14 transactions. And then lastly, obviously those people are going to refer. So let's say that your ratio of referrals is that for every, that you'll get one referral 
for every five clients that you have. And for some of you, if you haven't been in contact, it may be 10 clients. It takes 10 clients to get an extra referral. Whatever those numbers are for you, you can plug this in. But just for the sake of this, let's say that for every five clients that you have, you get one referral. Well, if you have a client database here of 100, if one out of five refers, that would be 20 referrals. Now, not 100% of those referrals are going to close, but a lot of them will because, again, the nature of a referral is they're going to say, you need to work with this agent because they're so awesome and you're going to love working with them, right? And that's really the nature of it. So if, if you've got 20 referrals that have come in over the course of a year and you're closing three-fourths of them or 75%, that is another 15 transactions meaning that the total that you would have over that 12 months by doing all five of these things, you can see here that is 57 transactions. So your 57 transactions times the $7,500 gross commission, because that's the average that, uh, that this person earns, then the total commissions they would generate in a year is 428,000 uh, 985, and it's pulling in that number because there's a decimal somewhere that's uh, <laughs> that's in this spreadsheet, but it's just not showing, so it's not an exact. But uh, again, you get the concept, right? 428,000 in gross commissions. So if that agent last year made 150,000, then the value of the system over the next 12 months is $278,985. So can you see why I say doubling your business really is not that much of a stretch, right? It's about having systems. It's about having strategies. It's about doing things different. Because see, if you wanted to duplicate these kind of results, doing what you're already doing, can you see how hard that would be to make that many phone calls, to do that many open houses, to knock on that many doors? There just aren't enough hours in the day. And that's why the, that's my problem with those kinds of strategies. Um, you'll notice on here, I don't talk about marketing, uh, about knocking on doors because I don't do it and I don't believe in it. In my opinion, it's a large waste of time. That doesn't mean you can't get transactions. Of course, people do it. People get transactions and that's why they do it. I'm simply saying, in my opinion, there's more effective ways of doing it. There's more effective ways of spending your time to find the people that want you to call them, right? With Facebook, you're going to be generating leads. I'm going to show you how to generate their name, their email address, their phone number. And these are people that are saying, yes, I'm interested, right? And so I would much rather talk to that person than knock on some stranger, right? Knock on their door. Same thing with cold calling for sell by owners and expired listings. There's just so much competition there. There are ways to simplify this process. And here's the beauty of this. You may be listening to this and you may be a brand new agent. And you, so you're saying, Kevin, you know, I don't really have any past clients to market to. And so I, I don't have that source of business. Well, great. If you're brand new, then that also means you didn't do a lot of transactions yet. So <laughs> it's, it's real easy for me to help you double your business. But the point is this, right? The average agent in 2016, the, the National Association of Realtors reported that the average agent did 12 transactions the entire year. So again, if all you did were these first three things, where you had a target market, where you were generating Facebook leads, and then you followed up with your prospects, I'm not even talking about sphere of influence. If all you did were those three things in marketing, that's a total of 23 transactions. You doubled what the average agent did, and you did it the first year in your business. See, that's the kind of game-changing results you can get with these kind of techniques and these kinds of strategies. You know, um, just a couple of, of stories. I've got one client that uh, sent me a text message last week, and her message was, Kevin, I'm going to make more this month in August than I will have made all of last year, right? She's outperforming her entire year in one month. So, again, you can do this. Um, I had one client that implemented these things, and he must have misunderstood me because I'm always telling people about doubling their transactions. Uh, he misunderstood me. He tripled. Right? He went from 150000 to 450000 in about 10 months. So, again, it's, it's not – the problem that most agents have is they've never been taught how to generate a lead. That was my problem, and that's why I got into this business is because once I learned how to solve the problem and started teaching others, I was seeing this massive explosion in their business. And <laughs> it was really cool to be able to help somebody and keep them from failing where I had failed, right? 
again, I had failed as a real estate agent and being able to help them made all the difference in the world. That's, that's what keeps me going and that's why I'm so passionate about doing what I do. So these are the kind of results when you start looking at numbers of what you can actually achieve. But in order to do it, you just have to have systems in place. You have to understand the strategy. And if, you'll, if you go to any of my classes or any of my trainings, you'll know that that's what I'm all about. I'm all about the strategy, I'm all about the system, and I'm all about getting leads because most people just don't generate enough of them. So with that, let's, uh, let's flip back to here, right? Now, the, uh, the challenge that, um, let me just talk about the top agent marketing system. So the top agent marketing system has five different modules and components to it. So again, the top agent marketing system is my training program that I take agents through. Um, it's an online course and it's teaching them all five of these modules. So module number one is teaching them how to create their own lead generation machine. And that's where we're focusing on the target market. I'm going to show you um, how to instantly separate yourself from the competition by using that market domination statement. Uh, I'm going to show you a four step marketing formula that's going to help you double or triple the amount of leads you generate just because you're going to be able to create a compelling marketing message. And then the other thing you're going to learn in that module is I'm going to teach you um, how to effectively implement a strategy for your website and business cards to make them generate more leads, right? So being more effective with what you're already doing. In module number two, we're going to be talking about how to generate 20 plus leads per week using Facebook. This is one of the most exciting uh, parts of the system. People love this simply because they finally get a tangible strategy that they can use to be generating leads. Um, and again, the, the target that most of my people are hitting is 20 leads a week. Um, my single record as I've been working with people is 47 in a week, right? Imagine what 47 leads in a week would do for your business. So again, these nine campaigns that we teach on Facebook, you can literally copy and paste them. And uh, again, once you know what you're doing and build that, you can have it up and running in about 45 minutes to an hour. The third area, the third module, is I'm gonna teach you sphere of influence marketing, how to market to your friends and family without being the outcast, without them hating you and still generating business from it. There's also other modules in there where I'm gonna show you how to stand out from the competition, how to do things like open houses where you're gonna stand out and get much better results. Um, things like networking, um, how to change your listing appointment, you know, how to change your listing presentation to better meet their needs and, and again, stand out. So if you've ever wondered, why is somebody going to do business with me rather than another agent, uh, that's the module where we're, we're really going to answer that question for you. The fourth area, where we're, the fourth module is creating a sales pipeline that converts leads into clients. Again, the thought process is, once you've created a lead, that's one thing, but it's another thing being able to turn the lead into a client. So with that, what we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, a very specific follow-up process, how to know, uh, how to qualify leads, how to sort them, and how to automate that process so that you're staying in touch with people and being a valuable resource so that when they're ready to do business, they're there. And then fifth and finally in that module, I'm gonna show you how to double your business using client marketing and referral marketing. Again, this is one of my favorite parts of the system because it's a huge missed opportunity for most people is they just don't know how to market their business and, and they don't do anything with their past clients. This is a huge area where I can make a big impact on your business. And uh, again, I have a lot of clients where all they do is get really good at client marketing and their business just doubles every, 20, every 12 months like clockwork because they've got that formula figured out and they're implementing it, right? So these are the five different modules and the five areas where I teach my clients how to double their transactions. And this is the kind of the framework and the nuts and bolts behind the system. Now, with this top agent marketing system, again, it's your guide to doubling transactions in the next 12 months. Aside from these five modules, which include over 30 training videos that are going to show you how to implement this step by step, again, screenshots, PowerPoints. Some of them are actually just me clicking along on my computer so that you can watch me do it as you're doing it. Again, we've done as much as we can to make this as simple as possible. But there's, uh, I think there's 35 different training modules. Uh, a lot of them have videos included. I believe it's like uh, about, uh, you know, seven, eight hours of training total. Um, but this is a huge training opportunity, right? So with that, there's also some bonuses that we've included into the program for you. 
So the bonuses, first of all, the first bonus is we're gonna teach you how to create persuasive content. So a lot of times when people are creating content, it's all about them and they're not really noticing or picking up on how to speak to people or how to write a message in a way that's gonna generate a response. So there's a very specific training that we're gonna show you uh, a little bit into the psychology and mindset of people and showing, that, showing you how to get into that and take advantage of that to create a message that's gonna resonate and be very persuasive. Now that training by itself is usually $197. We're just including it into the program as a, as a free benefit. The second bonus that we're going to include is we're gonna include a library of follow-up materials. Now these follow-up materials that can be, these are materials you can use in a lot of different cases for text messaging, um, for phone calls, for emails, uh, for a variety of different situations like a lead on Facebook or someone you just met or uh, any kind of reason why you would have to follow up. There's a, an entire library so that you don't have to think about this. You can just use what's there or if you wanna modify it, that's fine too so that it's, it's more your style. But just having these materials already ready for you just shortcuts that process and makes it so much easier for you to do the follow-up. Now, those materials in and of itself, just because of the nature of it, uh, that is worth $397 by itself. And again, we're just including that into the program. And then the last thing, and this is a special bonus for this live broadcast, is I'm also adding in three coaching sessions with myself. These coaching sessions are gonna be one hour each. It's one-on-one, -on -one. this is not a group thing. So you're going to get one-on-one -on -one, um, help in implementing the system. So a lot of times when people look at a program like this, they say, well, it's great to go through the program, but what if I get stuck or what if I have questions? Well, you've got three sessions with me where I can teach you, I can walk you through what's going on. If you're not understanding, I can help you. Or even if something is not working as it should, I can show you how to troubleshoot that process. So you're gonna get three coaching sessions. They're one hour each with me. And these are, again, what I do with my individual clients that have paid me a lot more than this course. So my normal rate, what that would be is that value of that alone is another $750. And quite honestly, when you throw the value of all of these things, it's easily over $1,000. In fact, we're looking at about $1,200, $1,300. Um, the value of just the bonuses itself, not even counting the training. Now, since this is a, a brand new training course, I've been teaching people this for a long time, but getting all the training recorded and making it available, this is the, our first initial launch of this. And so because of that, I'm discounting the price 50%. Normally this is gonna sell for $2,000, but I sell the top agent marketing system for $9.97. This is only gonna be for the next two days, and then the bonuses are gonna go away, the price is going to go up. And so if you've wanted to take your business to the next level, right? If you've wanted to do things a little bit differently in your business, this is a prime opportunity for it. So within the comments and, and on my page, I'm going to post a link to where you can go to sign up for the course. Um, but the top agent marketing system, again, if you're wanting to take that next level, if you feel like you're, you're, uh, you're capable of, of doing and being so much more, but you're not sure how to do it, uh, or if you're just hungry and wanna see more out of your business, uh, those are the kinds of people where they're a great fit for this program. Uh, simple truth is, is this is not a, a get rich quick thing, right? If you're looking for that, I'll be the first to tell you you're gonna be disappointed that's not what this is. There's gonna be a lot of work, a lot of implementation, and it's gonna take you a lot of study to really understand the concept and apply it. And so if that bothers you, then we're not a good fit, and I would just recommend that you go look for the magic pill somewhere else because I don't have it. But if you are looking for a strategy, if you're looking for a blueprint and a way to achieve those, those big goals that you have but you're not sure how to do it, uh, this really is the program for you. So if you have any questions, again, you can always contact me, uh, my website, which is 2QLeadGenerationStrategies.com. Or you can contact me on my email, which is kevin at 2QLeadGenerationStrategies.com. And again, I'm happy to answer any of those questions. So thanks for being here for this broadcast. And uh, we will go ahead and see you inside the program. Take care and have a great day.